Hello, so uh, continuing on this contest uh, 166, the first problem, which is 1,281, subtract the product and sum of digits of an integer. So the problem says we have an integer, and we want to return the difference between the product of its digits and the sum of these digits, so just the difference. For example, 234, digits are 2, 3, and 4. Um, their product is 24, and their sum is 9, and then we take the difference. So very straightforward. So right away, this problem, let's just do it literally what the problem says, right? Just get the digits, compute the product, and the sum. So getting the digit is just by dividing by 10, the digit would be the reminder, and the left of the number to get the rest of the digit would be whatever is left when we divide by 10, right? Whatever we get when we divide by 10. So to... Um, to do that, well, we can just first initialize our product and our sum. Product, we need to be initialized by 1, right? Can't initialize it by 0, because then we'll get 0. And then sum, initialize it with 0. And at the end, we want to return um, the product minus sum, right? And now we want to get the digits. So we'll keep dividing by 10 until n reaches 0. So this is while n is different than 0. Uh, which just is the same as well and in Python and to get the digit we will just get the reminder of the division by 10 right because um, maybe let me show an example here so if I take let's say 234 divided by get the modulo 10 I will get 4 right so I get 4 if I take 23 I'll get 3 if I take 2 I'll get 2 so to get the digits from right to left I'll get uh, from right to left, uh, I'll just get the reminder um, of the uh, of the division by 10. And to get the rest, so once I get 4, to get the rest, which is 23, so that I can go again and get the digits, I can just divide by 10 like this. So you can see I get 23. If I do this, I get 2. And when I do 2, I get 0, so I'll exit the loop because this is no longer different than 0. Um, and here, so the digits is that, and to get the rest of the number so that I can re go again for the next iteration, as I said, I'll just divide by 10. Um, and then now we know the digits, and what we want is to get the product of these digits and their sum. So let's just update the product with the digit and add to the sum the digit also. And that's pretty much all there is to this problem. Um, In terms of uh, time complexity, it would be, um, so we do this, but we do it um, only 10 times, like only division until like, so we keep dividing by 10 until it becomes zero. So it's log by 10 of n essentially. Um, so if we submit this, just like if we were dividing by two, it would be log two of n, uh, log two n, right? Log base two uh, of n, right? And so, yeah, this passes. Um, a slight different way we can do this is Python has this function called um, div mod, right? Div, division mod, that's what it means. It will return you just the tuple of x divided by y and x modulo y. So, which here, if we take y to be 10 and x to be the value that we have, n, then we'll get both the value modulo 10 and the value divided by 10 so we'll get both n and the digit so if we do it for 2, two 3, 4 and 10 so you can see we get the rest that we will need to use in the next iteration and we get the digit right so instead of doing it in two iterations like this uh, like in two operations we can just do div mod here and the result of the division would be the first in the tuple, and the digit would be the second. And so we can use that instead. And that passes. Um, a slight different way, if we don't want to divide and then get the result, we can just convert it to a string, right? So let's just convert um, end to a string and just go th go go over it so in a for loop so for i or let's call it d digit in sn right <coughs> this would be the digit in a form of a of a character right so now instead of 
we just need to convert it to an int, right? Because um, what will happen is that we will get a star of 234, right? And so if we get the first element, it's a character, so we convert it to an int. And since we are doing a for loop here, um, w w it doesn't matter which order we get them because um, we are going to do the sum in the product and any order is valid, right? So here we'll start from 2 and then 3 and then 4, so that also works. Um, so I'll submit this. Uh, there's a problem in the syntax here, it's int. Okay, so that passes. Um, just to get familiar to these easy problems, I find it's a very good opportunity to learn different ways of doing things. So let's just um, keep trying that. So here, um, instead of doing this, we could just get the array right, of digits. So that would be int of the digit for um, digit in this string right, of n. right. So now we have the list of digits. So what we can return is just use this function in Python. So if I import era tools, I can use this function called reduce, uh, not, not from era tools, just from, sorry, just from uh, um, func tools actually. So if I import func tools, um, I have this function called reduce, where I could just pass in a function in the sequence and it will, um, take the entire sequence and use that operator on it. So if I give it like 2, 3, and 4 and give it the, the function multiplication, then it will multiply 2 by 3, 2 with 3, and then multiply three, the result with 4. So it will apply the operator on the or the function on the entire sequence. And so the function I want here is multiplication. I want to multiply each number with its um, to get the product, basically of the sequence with with the other one, right? So to do that, I'll just write a function for, um, let me write it here. So I'll just give a function for multiplication here of two numbers. So I want to multiply x by y, and then give the sequence, which in this case is just the array. So this will give me the product. And for the sum, we have a function in Python that gives us the sum. And this will, uh, uh, will give us what we want, the difference between the product of the digits, since these are the digits, and sum, right? Um, so I need to import reduce here. <coughs> so from import reduce. Okay, so that passes. And just additionally to be comfortable with more Python functions, there is this um, th library called operator, and if we use it, we can get the multiplication operator, right? So it's just the same as doing this. So it'll give us essentially this function. So instead of using writing the function ourselves, we can just use that. So that would be operator dot multiplication, and that should give us the same result. Okay, cool. So that passes the test cases. Um, yeah, so that's it, I think, for this problem. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.